twist is a very important characteristic of yarn for several reasons. Uh, putting a little bit of twist in yarn in, can increase the strength of the material, but it also can reduce the footprint of the yarn, for example, in a hose or in a cable. Um, there's a couple of different ways that we can test twist, and it's all based on ASTM D1423. We're going to demonstrate two different ways that we check twist. One is the direct count method, which we typically use in plied yarns, and the other is a twist and untwist method, which is used more in single yarns and high twist yarns. So now we're going to do a twist test on a cabled yarn. We're going to roll off the material to make sure that we don't lose any twist by pulling it off of the end. And we're going to secure the yarn in two points to make sure we capture that twist in between. We'll load the yarn in the first clamp. And now the second clamp. Setting up a 10 inch length of yarn to test. This particular twist is in the Z direction. So we'll hit start and the yarn will untwist. Now we want to take our pick and separate the plies until the pick can pass cleanly from one end to the other. As I'm passing the pick down, we see we have some residual twist, so we'll remove that. And now once the pick passes cleanly, we'll take our reading, and we're at 7.1 turns per inch. Since this is a cabled yarn, the three plies that we just untwisted are also twisted in the opposite direction to give a more balanced thread. To check the twist in these individual ends, after we performed the first twist test, we'll remove two of these ends We'll take out the slack and we'll perform a second test. This particular test is in the opposite direction and we're going to do the single yarn by the twist and retwist method. So this machine will automatically calculate the twist by untwisting it flat and then retwisting it in the opposite direction. This shows that our twist for the single yarn was nine turns per inch in the S direction.